Now we will consider a numerical estimate of some of the macroscopic quantities we can infer from our statistical arguments and especially using kinetic theory for ideal gases. Here we have a nitrogen gas, consider nitrogen gas with a mass of 1.15 grams in a 1 liter vessel at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. What we would like to know, the total number of molecules in the vessel, the number density, the average kinetic energy per molecule and the average speed per molecule. So let's uh, go through this uh, step by step. Uh, one thing we I would like to do before uh, starting the uh, solution is uh, to try to write everything, all the given quantities uh, in SI units. Uh, so first of all, I know mass of the nitrogen gas. So the total mass, uh, let's call it capital M, the total mass of the uh, nitrogen gas total mass is uh, 1.15 uh, grams or uh, 1.15 10 to minus 3 kilograms in SI units. The volume of the vessel V is 1 liter and the SI unit of volume is meter cube and the conversion is as follows. 1 meter cube is uh, 1000 uh, liters. So the uh, SI unit for the volume is 1 10 to minus 3 meter cube. The temperature is room temperature. That is uh, 300 Kelvin room temperature. And the pressure is atmospheric pressure. Pressure is P0, that's one atmosphere. And uh, one atmosphere is equal to 1.01, 10 to 5 Pascals. And Pascal is basically Newton divided by meter square. That's the SI unit. It's called uh, Pascals. And uh, so these are the quant given quantities uh, that are expressed in SI units. Okay, so let's start with part A. So let me um, leave this information here and start looking at part A. I want to know the total number of molecules in the vessel. Okay, so what do we know about nitrogen? So nitrogen has atomic uh, weight uh, 14. So molecular weight uh, mu, uh, molecular weight is uh, 2 times 14, it's 28. So what does that mean? One mole of nitrogen has a mass of 28 grams and here we have 1.15 grams okay so let's continue with this uh, we have Avogadro's number of molecules one mole that means Avogadro's number, uh, 6.02, 10 to 23 nitrogen molecules. Uh, have a mass of 28 grams. Okay, so what is capital N, the total number of uh, molecules in the vessel? total number of molecules in the vessel it's going to be uh, basically uh, 1.15 divided by 28 uh, this is the number of moles uh, multiplied by 
uh, 6.02 10 to 23 so it is basically um, if I call this n number of moles how many moles of nitrogen gas do I have that is 1.15 divided by 28 and uh, the total number of molecules is the number of moles times Avogadro's number so what is this number if you calculate this you will get 2.47 times 10 to 22 molecules so this will be the answer uh, to part A of this uh, problem. Okay, uh, let's move on to part B. Uh, in part B, the question was, uh, what is the number density? So the number of molecules uh, per volume. The number density, N sub V, uh, number density, is the total number of molecules divided by the volume. Now the total number of molecules we found in part A 2.47 times 10 to 22 divided by the volume. The volume we have expressed in SI units here it was uh, 1 times 10 to minus 3 meter cube so 1 10 to minus 3 meter cube so the answer will be uh, roughly 2.5 times 10 to 25 uh, molecules per uh, meter cube. So I have done some rounding here. It's not 2.47. I have rounded it to uh, two significant figures, 2.5. Okay, so that's the answer to part B of the problem. What was part C? Um, find the average kinetic energy per molecule. Now, we know from kinetic theory, from kinetic theory, uh, we have found that the average pressure that is exerted by an ideal gas, so I'm assuming that this is an ideal gas, uh, is going to be two-thirds uh, number density average kinetic energy per uh, molecule. So this is what we found out. So if I manipulate this uh, and isolate average kinetic energy per molecule, it's three times the average pressure divided by two uh, number density so if I substitute here 3 over 2 SI unit of uh, pressure is Pascal so 1 atmosphere 1.01 10 to 5 Pascals divided by the number density 2.5 times 10 to 25 I find that the average uh, kinetic energy per molecule is roughly 6.0 times 10 to minus 21 joules. Joules is the SI unit of energy. And then uh, in part D, I'm going to uh, calculate the average speed per uh, molecule. Now, uh, the average speed per uh, molecule, I can uh, get that from average kinetic energy per molecule. It is the average value of one half m v square bar. So I can use this uh, approximation v square bar is approximately v bar uh, squared. Uh, so I neglect the difference between these two. Um, and uh, basically, the information I need in order to find uh, the average speed per molecule is the mass of one molecule. So it's going to be tw twice the average kinetic energy per molecule divided by m square root. So this will be 
uh, the answer for uh, average speed per molecule. Now, what is the mass of a single molecule, m, mass of a single molecule? Uh, I know that the mass of one mole is six, uh, 28 grams, so that's the molecular, uh, I get that from the molecular weight. So this is going to be equal to um, 28 grams divided by 6.02 10 to 23. Basically, it is the molecular weight uh, of the nitrogen gas divided by Avogadro's number. So what is this number? If you calculate this, uh, you will get uh, 4.65 10 to minus 23 grams uh, since I'm using SI units here, this is also equal to 4.65 10 to minus 26 kilograms. As you know, one kilogram is 1000 grams. So for the average speed, I have square root of uh, 2 times 6 10 to minus 21 joules divided by 4.65 times 10 to minus 26 uh, kilograms and the answer I find from this calculation is roughly 510 meters per second. So the average speed of the nitrogen molecules inside this vessel should be close to 510 meters per second. Okay, so let's repeat what we have done. We have a nitrogen gas with a given mass of 1.15 grams in a 1 liter vessel. It's at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. I want to know the total number of molecules, the number density, average kinetic energy per molecule and average speed per molecule. So I started out by looking at the given quantities in SI units, 1.15 grams, total mass of the gas is 1.15, 10 to minus 3 kilograms. The volume is 1 liters, that's 10 to minus 3 meter cube. Temperature is 300 Kelvin, which I didn't need to use. Uh, the pressure uh, is 1 atmosphere, 1.01, 10 to 5 pascals, that's the SI unit. So to find the total number of molecules in the vessel, I have to note that the molecular weight of nitrogen is 28, atomic weight is 14, two atoms per molecule, it's 28, and one mole of nitrogen, that means, has a mass of 28 grams. So one mole contains Avogadro's number, 6.02 10 to 23 nitrogen molecules, with a total mass of 28 grams, then the total number of molecules in the vessel is the number of moles of gas in the vessel, which is 1.15 divided by 28, multiplied by Avogadro's number, 2.47 10 to 22 molecules. Number density is total number divided by the volume. And from kinetic theory, we just calculated the average pressure of this gas should be two-thirds number density times average kinetic energy per molecule and we find the average kinetic energy to be 6 10 to minus 21 joules and then we can get the average speed per molecule an estimate for the average speed per molecule using the average kinetic energy per molecule and the knowledge of the mass of a single molecule which is uh, something we obtain by dividing the molecular weight 28 grams with Avogadro's number. So I was careful converting to grams to kilograms again here and the average speed I will then obtain in SI units meters per second it is roughly 510 meters per second.